Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $113,511.36. In the past year I am up $39,435.01. Year to date for the year 2024 I am up $21,324.60. Today was a green day for me. During the day, I was up $2,609.68. And after hours, I am up $161.58. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Amazon $185 covered calls. These expire October 18. My total return $465. I have Amazon $140, $130 put credit spreads. These expire October 18. My total return $38. I have Amazon $200, $210 call credit spreads. These expire October 18. My total return $60. I'm selling Delta Airlines $49 covered calls. These expire October 18. My total return one. I am down $112. I'm selling Disney $95 covered calls. These expire October 18. My total return $817.02. I'm selling SoFi $8 covered calls. These expire October 18. My total return, I am down $2,240. I'm selling Target $150 covered calls. These expire October 18. My total return, $90. Put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return $303. I have Verizon $47, $49 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $850. I have Disney $70 calls. These expired December 19th, 2025. My total return $3,236. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $185.26. My average cost $185.26. So my total return $0.18. I have 6,400 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $8.60. My average cost, $5.71. My total return, $18,500.48. I have 400 shares of Disney. Disney is at $93.40. My average cost, $67.50. My total return, $10,000. $360. I have 100 shares of Target. Target is at $154.36. My average cost, $154.50. My total return, I am down $14.49. I have 400 shares of Delta Airlines. Delta Airlines is at $51.25. My average cost, $50.73. My total return, $208.04. This is a margin account. My margin total is $103,999.75. My margin used is $77,077.46. My options collateral is $12,000. This leaves me with $14,922.29 in buying power.
My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $42,430.92. This is how much more money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.05%. The daily interest I'm paying is $12.79. And I'm borrowing $1,000 of margin interest free. So I think this is the highest value my portfolio has been this year. Yep. So it's up about 23% year to date, which is really good. If we compare that to SPY, SPY is up 22.26% year to date. So I'm up about 1% more than SPY year to date. I'm up 23% year to date. So things are going well and I'm just going to go over quickly my positions that are expiring soon on the 18th. Right now it's the 9th, so nine more days until expiration. So Amazon $185 covered call. Right now Amazon is slightly above 185. It's at 185 and 26 cents. So this could go either way. I mean, there's still nine days till expiration. A lot can happen between now and then. So this could go either way. Really close. My Amazon Iron Condor, I wanted to stay between 140 and 200 for max profit. And right now it is between that range. It's at 185. So as long as it stays between these numbers, we should be good. Next up, we have Delta Airlines, $49 covered call. Right now, Delta Airlines is above $49. And if it stays this way, then at expiration, if Delta Airlines is above $49, my shares of Delta Airlines will get called away. It'll be gone from my portfolio and I'll end up making a small profit from the covered calls. Disney $95 covered calls. Right now, Disney is slightly below 95. It's at 93 and 40 cents. So if it stays this way at expiration, I'm going to keep my shares of Disney and I'll still make some money from the covered calls. SoFi, now this one I kind of regret. Then again, in the past, um, you know, it, it's gone up and then immediately goes back down. But this time, I don't know. Maybe it's going to keep on going up or stick around there. But I chose a strike price of $8. And right now, SoFi is at $8.60. So in a way, I'm losing out on $0.60 cents worth of profit per share. Um... If only I had chosen a strike price of like $9, you know, then I would have nothing to worry about. But this is this is a position that I actually want to keep. So I want to keep my shares of SoFi. So if it's still above, you know, really above $8 per share at expiration, then I'll roll it out to a further expiration date and probably further uh, higher strike price as well, just to keep my shares. But for now, it's at $8.60. Out of my, you know, my strike price of only eight dollars, so I didn't expect it to go up this much. Um, but we'll see what happens in the next nine days. Lastly, Target, one hundred fifty dollar strike price for my covered calls. Target is above one hundred fifty dollars. It's a one fifty four. So if it stays above one fifty, you know, one fifty at expiration, then my shares of Target will get called away. It'll be, you know, no longer in my portfolio. And I'll make some money overall from doing these covered calls. And that's pretty much it. All I wanted to talk about. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it took a while, right? Things were rocky throughout the year. And a lot of, you know, most of the year, it was like very up and down. Um, not really going anywhere. And then I had a huge drop, like, in, in August. But since then, it's gone up a lot. So hopefully... Um, I'll stay green for the year, but there's still a couple months left. Anything could happen, but I'm happy with the performance of my portfolio um, recently. So yeah, 113 and a half. Um, yeah, we'll see where things go from here. I would be very happy if I end up at somewhere between 115 and 120K at the end of the year. That would be really nice. But yeah, about 113 and a half K for now. 
All right, that's it for this portfolio update. If you guys like this type of content, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I will keep on making more of these videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.